Welcome back to the channel, classic Volkswagen lovers, junior with classic VW Bucks and Sonny the Super Beetle. Today we're uh, doing part number two on Sonny's uh, cluster pedals. Uh, today I'm going to tackle this uh, uh, pedal in three steps. But before we do that, let's watch my new intro. I'm going to begin by removing this cutter pin right here. I'm going to uh, punch it out. And for what I can see, um, I'm gonna be pounding it from this end towards the other end. She's almost out, so just a matter of a few more taps and she'll be out. Let's see how far will this one go. There we go. So it looks like that inside it's a cease pretty bad. So I'm gonna have to just um, put some um, PB blaster and see if the PB blaster will break it loose. Okay, and so here we are back in the shed and I'm gonna see if I can actually try to remove this. The clutch pedal, it's uh, pretty seized and tight uh, to the uh, a clutched uh, pedal shaft. So I sprayed some PB blaster through the uh, bushing to see if that's going to help release it. So I'm going to try to see if by just applying some pressure here, it will break loose. It actually did. Put some of the uh, Lucas Oil loop chain in it. Let's see if that's going to help. Okay, and she's out. There she is. So we got that one out. I'm going to tackle that piece first. I'm going to take my grinder with my wire wheel and I'm going to clean it. Then I'll move on to the, the others. That way I'll work it in stage. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to take this off from here. Yes, I'm going to take the grinder and I'm going to grind all of that well and assess what's behind that well. It's looking good. I really don't see anything major there. And if there was something or a crack or any of you know anything of that matter, uh, at least they did good penetration. Although the well was ugly, then by grinding it down um, and you know getting it to look smooth, uh, if we have a good penetration in whatever they repair, there it shouldn't be a problem. So. I'm going to go ahead and keep on grinding and uh, see what it looks like when I'm done. That's looking much better. Next, I'm going to use a 120 uh, grit uh, sanding disc to smoothen the surface out a little bit more. Um, I already took that uh, well hum down uh, and you can see some of the uh, marking from the grinding disc in that direction. So I'm going to see if I can use this 120 grit uh, sanding disc and see if I can make that 
smoother. All right, let's see what happens next. Safety goggles on. I think that looks pretty good. Much better than that big hump, right? Next, I'm gonna use a scotch brite sanding disc to provide a more detailed and uh, nicer finish. Now I don't see that big hump. Uh, you can compare this um, to what we had there before. And I think that's nice. It looks much better. All I have to do now is um, get some uh, wire uh, brushes that can fit in that hole and just wire brush that or maybe dip it into some of that uh, rusty sulfur uh, solution and that should be fine. And I just wanted to give you a closer look of the uh, clutch pedal. If you guys remember the big uh, wheel, the big hump that was there, it's gone now and I did not see any issues or cracks or anything like that so I'm not quite sure why that well was there to begin with um, I even looked inside and I did not see any signs of anything wrong that looks much better than what it was before so next we're gonna move on to remove the brake pedal and work with that the same way we did with this one here. All right, so let's move on to that. And now we're going to tackle the uh, brake pedal. But before we do that, I gotta remove this uh, ring from right here so I can free it from that shaft. I'm gonna have to fix that, straighten it. So that's straight now. All we gotta do now is um, add some um, welding material because it, it's starting to wore out right there. So I'm going to fill that with my MIG welder and then I'm going to sand it down, grind it down to make it look even and nice. I have to clean this with the uh, wire brush so that it will run smooth into the bushing. So the only thing I see here that I'm not too concerned about it is that at the very end right here, you can see some scratches from uh, removing the clutch pedal. Um, it might have been maybe all of, all of the rust that was there prior uh, to me getting it out. Uh, but that's not a big problem, that's not a big issue. And as long as this will go in the clutch pedal uh, with ease, I don't have a problem with that. Okay guys, so it looks like I'm not going to be able to finish my cluster pedal right now because it is real, winter it's here. Oh yes, it's cold outside. And we got a few inches of snow, so I got to come up with plan B. So what's up guys again, this is Junior and uh, it's about maybe uh, a day after we had the snow uh, fall. And um, if it's, as you can see here, uh, it is actually 39 degrees outside, but it's sunny and the snow is starting to melt down. So what I did, I grabbed myself a couple of uh, heaters. Uh, electric heaters and I put them in my three season room and I was able to um, raise the temperature to around 70 degrees 
and that way I was able to spray paint my cluster petals. So let me show you that. All right, guys. So I am back inside the uh, three season room, and um, I want to show you here really quick my temperature gauge up there. It's actually 72 degrees. I was able to accomplish that with the aid of a two electric heater, that one there and this one right here. Uh, the technique that I used uh, to paint the parts, it's a very simple technique. I got myself a Rust-Oleum rattle can of um, High Heat Ultra Black with the um, semi-gloss shin. And the way I painted this, I painted them in three stages, uh, 15 minutes apart per side. So that's a total of 45 minutes times uh, two, you do the math, okay? Um, the way it works, uh, because this is a very small confined area, uh, by placing the parts inside and applying a very light film of a spray mist, what it does, it covers the part, but whatever aerosol it's in the cavity, it falls back down over the parts, almost kind of like a overspray, but because the parts are very wet at the moment, it becomes part of the finished product and almost seamless to the eye, where you can barely tell that it was almost like an overspray. So um, you have to do that three times. Uh, and every time you have to make sure that you're only applying a very light uh, coat of paint. Do not overspray because you'll have then those runs that you don't like to have in your parts when you're spray painting. So I think that that's gonna work for me. So now I have to wait at least a good uh, 30 minutes or 35 minutes before I can actually pick them up and touch them. And I should be able to show you the end result and there they are. Uh, so I guess the trick here is to not hurry because if you do then you will mess up your paint job. All right guys, so it's been a day or so since uh, we spray painted the uh, cluster petals with the uh, shallow box uh, technique. So let's take a look at it. So here you have it. Um, there is the uh, cluster petals disassembled. Uh, it's now a very nice uh, semi-gloss uh, black and from being so rusty to now being this nice to me that's a win-win in any game. So, so you know which materials I use to accomplish uh, this uh, end result, I use the uh, Rust-Oleum High Heat Ultra uh, paint spray, which is a rattle can that normally is used for um, refurbishing or respraying your grill. And uh, last but not least, the Rust-Oleum Rusty Solver. That um, it's a incredible product to dissolve uh, rust so make sure when you're using this product you protect yourself wear gloves wear eyeglass protection and make sure it does not fall in concrete because you'll regret it so make sure you do um, the application of this product per the instructions all right folks so if you like the contents of this video and if you have gotten any value out of it in any manner give it a thumbs up it helps the video and it helps my channel. If this is your very first time in my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification button so that you can get an update status of Sonny's progress report as well as learn from any tutorials that may interest you. Until then, this is Junior with Classic BW Bucks. Junior out.